this video I'll be showing you the upgrade process for upgrading my friend's PSP which is a custom 3.30 OE-A to 3.71 M33 using the Pandora battery. So this is the Sergeant White's PSP and uh, I'll be doing the upgrade process and I'll be showing you how it is done. So first let's start this and let's see what's on it. Okay, it's coming up. Let's go to system settings. Let's go to, as you can see, 3.30OE A. So let me just back out of this one now. Uh, so I'll be using the memory stick, the magic memory stick, and the Pandora battery that I created. This is this is the pack that I have right now. This is, by the way, a, a normal Sony uh, PSP battery that I hard modded it. And also, I'm using the uh, Magic Memory Stick, which is a regular SanDisk 1 gigabyte memory stick. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is switch off the PSP. Okay. And we'll just take off the we'll take out the battery. This is the, the, the normal battery. Let us take out the memory stick also. Oh. Okay. So that's the memory stick. And now we'll be putting in this memory stick, which is the magic one. This goes in there. And now comes the, the Pandora battery. So as soon as I put this in, I want to show you exactly how this process starts. Right now, as you can see, there is no power or anything. So I'll be just putting this one, and I'll show you how it starts. So ready, one, two, three. This goes in there. Okay, lights start flashing, and there you go. Now I want to show you what exactly comes on the screen once the Pandora battery loads. It's saying press X to install 3.71 M33. So that's the first option that is there, and we'll be using this option. So I'll be pressing X. To continue. Okay. And as you can see, it has started. Loading PSAR to RAM. Creating directories. A lot of gibberish there. Okay. All what you're seeing, you can see the the lights are flashing crazy. Uh, this is actually the 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 custom firmware getting flashed to the to the PSP, and this will take about two two minutes. And once this is created, once this uh, the writing is finished, it will prompt me. As you can see, flashing file, flashing file slash zero finished. So it's uh, it's doing its thing. We just we'll have to wait for it to finish. I just wanted to show you this live, so you can exactly see how much time it takes for the flash to complete.
still running. Okay. Install success. Press X to shut down the PSP. So we'll press X now. And it's switched off. So we're done. Now what we have to do is take out this Pandora battery and we take out the magic memory stick okay. I'm just doing it just with one hand so I'm sorry about the delay okay I'll put the regular PSP battery and let's see what comes up Here you go, it's booting up. All I want to show you right now, darn actually I don't I don't really know exactly why it picks up this weird white color theme. So I'll just go here and change the color to make it more easily recognizable. Okay, yeah, this is this is my favorite one actually. It's easier for me to show you. Okay, so let's go to system settings. We go to system information. And what do we have there? As you can see, we're having 3.71 M33. So this test confirms that the Pandora battery right over there, which I created a hard modded. It does work and uh, it can uh, flash your PSP regardless of what, what firmware you're having and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.